Hulk smash! Sponsor me, Boxu. You guys ever had a vampire, a vampfluencer who loves Japan and needs to collaborate with you and go to Japan to do work with you? You ever had that? I don't think you have. Welcome back to, welcome back to another episode of Vita Culture. We are on a, I, I get it and then I'm like, Welcome back to another episode of A Bite of Culture. As we do, we are headed back to Japan for another Boksu once a month, I think is what we're doing. And I'm not mad about it. Let's go. Going to Okinawa. Ooh, these look spicy. There's a lot of stuff in here today. I think I said that last time too. What is this? Baba, Bobo, Bobo, Baba, Bobo. I think it's Bobo. Sanpin Cha. Is that tea? Ooh, oh shit, dropping shit. Stuff. I'm actually kind of at a loss for what a lot of this is today. This is unfamiliar territory. Okinawa. I don't know much about Okinawa. Nagasaki Castella, Hong Kong. Same, same. Oh, little boobies. Chocolate. Pineapple candy. Ooh, candy. Cookies. That'll be a fun one to edit. Ah, we're back with our box hat. All right, getting into sunny Okinawa. Sunny Okinawa. We're headed to Okinawa, Japan's southernmost prefecture. This cluster of tropical islands has a unique climate and geography, making it home to some of special ingredients you won't find anywhere else in Japan. This month, we've curated a selection of snacks made in Okinawa or using native ingredients. We hope each bite takes you on a delicious Okinawan summer vacation. Vacay. Okay, I have to remember to do this right this time, right? We go down, not across. So we are starting today with um, passion fruits. This is a passion fruit uh, jelly candy. So that is going to be, ah, these ones, the little squishy squishies. Let's see if it has a smell. What that smell is. Oh, it's sticky. Ooh, it smells like, um, I don't know what it smells like. like a, it smells like a fruit. Is that what a fruit smell like? It's like plastic. I don't think you're supposed to eat the plastic that comes with it. Um, um, I get it. Yeah, though the taste and texture may be a new experience for most. We hope you'll try it and love it. Um, it definitely did feel like a, um, an experience. Um, yeah, that is an interesting texture and flavor. Um, I don't know if it's like mango. No, it's not mango. Um, I don't know what flavor that is. Maybe pineapple. It's not pineapple. Passion fruit. Is that what it said? Passion fruits. Oh yeah. Passion fruit. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I like it more than I dislike it, so we're gonna give this first one in this box a six. Next up, we've got the Okinawa Squishy Gasa, no, shi, shi, Shikwasa. Uh, this, these refreshing bite-sized gummies are bursting with a juice Shikwasa Citrus, a tart and acidic fruit native to the northern region of Okinawa. Shikwasa, Shikwasa, okay. That's gonna be these ones here, yes. Okay, you can tell they're squishy. Sounds delicious. You can tell they're squishy and it sounds delishy. Must be from Japan. Whoa! First, I was like, damn, that smells like lemon. It smells really good. And then I got like a whiff that had like an almost fart smell. <laughs> like it went from smelling really good to not real quick. I don't know what that was all about. So it's got a really interesting blend of smells in here. Um, whoa, that's weird. Okay. It's a nice squishy little A cup. Um, uh, it's a nice squishy little treat. It's got like a little lemon flavor to it but it's not lemon, it just smells like that. Here we go. That's sour, very sour. Good thing is it doesn't taste like parts. So it's kind of like coated with sugar. I'm not trying to go through it. It's like once you get through the sugar, you start getting like the flavor of the fruit. And then when you bite into it, you really get that flavor. That's good, I like it. Sour, I'm gonna do one more. Whew, man, that is sour. It's like sour in like a weird way though. It's not like sour like in a lemon head where it's like super, super sour. This is just like a very sweet sour. Does that make any sense? It's really good though. I feel like I feel like if I ate enough of those, I'd get kind of burnt out of them real quick though. So I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with a seven. I don't remember what I put the last one at. Seven also? Six. Seven. Okay. Moving on. Uh -huh. Handmade pineapple candy. That's gonna be this one? No. This one? No. Ah, this one. Exclusive tropical treats from Boxu. Gobble, gobble. Wait, wrong episode. No goblin. Kind of stinky. It smells like pineapple, but like in a stinky way. Oh, it's sticky. Okay, so they're like little hard pineapple ca candies. Um, they're very sticky. 
Why? I don't know. It tastes like a pineapple. That tastes more like a pineapple than a pineapple it tastes like a pineapple. We're dreaming. He's like, what is my life? Mmm. I like this. It's good. I wanna bite it. Have a hammer? Bite it. <laughs> yeah, put one of those like little powers. Mmm. Okay. I'm zoning out. Very hard. Tough to chew. What you would expect with a candy like that. Um, pineapple is one of those things where I'm starting to like, like and enjoy more flavors, more things that are flavored like pineapple. Um, so it's still kind of a hit or miss with me. That one, I, I, I enjoy it. Um, I think I'm gonna have to give that one another seven. It's a good, good little treat. Good little treat. Good little treat. Good little treat. In a charger. In a Dodge charger. Next up is the black sugar kinako mochi. Soft and chewy mochi. Sugar syrup filling. Ooh, that's a like soybean flour. We recommend serving it chilled for a refreshingly sweet and nutty bite. Oh shit. Okay, so this, wait, wait. Make sure I get the right one. It is, all right, so this is the black sugar mochi. Japan, land of the impossible to open bags. Impossible, nothing's impossible. You just have to find a different, you have to look at it with a different perspective. So it smells like the uh, almond or the whatever. I, don't, I literally think I got zero of the filling. Interesting. That took a second to kick in. Okay, so the outside of this mochi, this is very good. This is very delicious. The outside of this is that um, kinako, which is the, the flour, the powdery stuff that we put over like the, the gelatin kind of snacks. That's what this is. On the inside, it's the black sugar. To me, it tastes like brown sugar. Um, took a second to kick in because like the outside is so flavor is so strong on the outside of this that I feel like it really overpowers the inside for like a minute. Once you get into it, you're like, oh my God, I'm so good. I'm gonna give these little bad boys a nine. I don't love, I don't love the powdery. I don't like snacks that when I put it in my mouth, it's just like an explosion of powder. Like that's tough to enjoy. Flavors on this are really, really good. I just write that nine. Next is the Nagasaki Castella. Once you bite into this floppy Castella cake, you'll be hit with the fresh flavor and aroma of Tonkan and Okinawan citrus fruit. This smells moist, 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 no. This one is, dude, this has gotta be, oh, it's moist for sure, bro. All right, so it's got that moist cakey, cakey flavor. It's got that moist cakey texture. Uh, here we go. Tadakimasu. Good. Mmm. So it's very cakey and moist on the outside. Inside is dry. Very dry on the inside very quickly. I don't really know how to describe the fruitiness that is this cake. And it's citrus fruit. It's known for sometimes ugly, bright orange color, juicy sweetness, and low acidity. Very, very sweet, very sweet cake. We got some sweet cakes. Um, that one I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give that one a six. Hmm. There's so many good things in this box. Next up is, these things look like mushrooms, but they're not. I think it's this, it's gotta be this. Sukisamu, Sukisamu, yep. Looks like a little mushroom. Can you see? A little mushroom top, top, hippie top, top. Mm. It's wet. It's like a muffin. It's like a little, little mushroom muffin. Mushroom. It's, mu it's the mushroom. And if you rip it in half, or ish in half-ish, kind of. Feed me, see more. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's in this. Uh, Okinawan is with black sugar is sugarcane juice that's been boiled for many hours to create a dark color and roasted caramel-like flavor. I have to admit, I'm not actually a fan of that. Um, I think the inside, it, it reminds me of like bread. Inside almost reminds me of like the bean paste. Kind of super crazy about that. Uh, that's definitely my least favorite item in this box so far. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a, uh, I'm gonna give it a four because I don't absolutely like hate it. Texture, flavor, if you broke it down, like they're both still pretty low, but like it's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. Um, I just wouldn't go out of my way for it. So I'm gonna give that one a four. Pa, no, financier. Oh, another one of those financier. Oh, this is the uh, variety of pineapple puree called Tita Pineapple, produced, produced on Okinawa's Ishiga, Ishigaki Island. You'll love the deep sweetness of this prized fruit. Oh, let's go deep. Yeah. Fake. Oh, that broke right in half. Look at that. Definitely very pineapple-y. are telling me that this is their favorite cake. Oh, it's crumbly. 
Today's episode brought to you by Diabetes. The outside's got a nice, like, harder baked. It's very thin, and um, the inside's a, a moist pineapple flavor. So I'm gonna give that one a six. I think that was an enjoyable little pineapple y treat. Zawawa, Chinsko, Black Sesame, and Kinako. Okay, so that is gonna be this one. It's this one. Ooh. Can say that I am a fan of the Kinako. Got it on there. I, I enjoy it, at least to some degree. Not very flavorful. So yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about that one is it's like dry and not a whole lot of flavor. Like that's how I feel like, it's just not very flavorful. I don't enjoy flavor. Uh, what I'm trying to say is I like that cookie. That one, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give that a, uh, I'm gonna give that a five. That's right down the middle one. Salted butter mochi senbei. Senbei. Everything the light touches is your cookie. Fun fact, Disney stole The Lion King from a Japanese show. show? Whoa, that's salty. The one that we got. Thanks. Crispy. It's very, that's interesting. This is gonna make it sound worse than it is, but it's like eating a stale cracker with a lot of butter on it. I think that's a really accurate description of this. In a good way, like it's not bad at all. Kimba, that's what it was. Kimba the white lion. And then they named him Simba. Very, 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 very buttery. Very buttery, super buttery. So good though. I like it a lot. I know I said it tastes like a stale cracker, but I'm gonna give that one, I'm gonna give that a seven. I'm gonna give that a seven. Cause I could definitely, I could definitely get down on those for sure. This is the one. Okay, Kabu Kiyage, rice crackers. Chikwasa salt, kwasa croissant. Rice crackers are very popular in Japanese diet. It's they want open all of uh, Let's see, native to Ryukyu Islands. Okay, this is gonna be this one. So these are rice cracker salt. That terrifies me a little bit. Not much of a salty fan. Test. Smell like they'd be great for breakfast. Too salty for me. Too salty for me. I love the texture of it. They're nice. Those are a good little snack, but way too salty. It has that citrusy flavor, which I do like, but the salt is just a little too overpowering. With all that being said, I'm gonna give this one a little bit lower just because it is very salty. I'm gonna go for a four. Uh, Ishigaki Benimo, Benimo Crepe, Crepe Crape Crepe Roll. These remind me of the ones from Taiwan. They were very perfumey, fragrant, and rosy. These are purple yam. Am I gonna try it with an open mind? Yes, I am. They smell good. They smell good. Look like it's got anything in the middle. Oh, it does have something in the middle, just on this side. How oh, I didn't see that from the other side. It is coming through. Smells good. Let's see how it tastes. Mm, okay. The wafer, so good. Very light, very crispy, crunchy. Very sweet, very, very good. Cream filling um, is actually where a lot of that sweet is coming from. Almost a little too sweet for me, um, but it's got a very, very nice, like a very, very nice sweet flavor to it. I, I think it must be the yam with a white chocolate center. So that's kind of where the, the too sweet is coming from is that white chocolate. That's really good. I'm gonna give that an eight. The so close to a seven, eight, it's, it's an eight. All right, next up, we've got Kuchi. What? Kuchi. Kuchi Dokekoji. Kuchi Dokekoji. Kuchi, I just wanna keep saying Kuchi. Kuchi Dokekoji Sakurumaro Curry. This addicting puff snack boasts the natural sweetness of corn and the savory flavors of Japan's curry, Japanese curry. In fact, the name Sakumaro is a play on the Japanese words Saku Saku, crunchy, and Maroyaka, mild taste. It's a mild, crunchy, crunchy taste. It's a crunchy, mild taste. Coochie. Does your coochie have a mild, crunchy taste? Crunchy, crunchy. What's this word? What does this say? Coochie. What did she say? You know what coochie means in Japanese? It means mouth. Japanese word lesson of the day, coochie. Oh, that's a good TikTok video. I should be like, you know, so I've been studying Japanese and we got to, you know what I mean? And go into the word coochie. Whoa, dude, what? That coochie is fire, dude. That's some of the best coochie I ever smelled. Let me put this in my coochie. Okay, so these almost remind me of like little uh, pork rinds, but I don't think that's what they are. They smell great though. I'm gonna pair this with a nice cup of tea. Tea with your Gucci. Yo, 
It's good. Very light. One of those snacks that like, as soon as you bite into it, it just starts melting. But it tastes like curry, curry, curry. They make a fantastic addition to your accessorizing. You need a snack on the go. Good, dude, don't eat all these. We'll fight you. I'm gonna give these, even though they're not sweet, I feel like most of the stuff on our top highest lists have been sweet. I'm gonna give this a nine. I'd say I love Japanese curry and everything that I've had Japanese curry, I've always been a fan. Bro, these are so good. How did I not know right off the bat that I was gonna love Gucci? Even if it is a Doke Koji Gucci. Shima Togorashi, 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 Shima Togorashi rice crackers and peanuts, peanuts. Let's see, so Shima Togorashi, rice crackers and peanuts. So it looks like there's a little combination of stuff in here maybe. Okay, so let's see, there's little rice crackers and peanuts. Oh, these actually got, oh my God. Very hot chili pepper found only in Okinawa. So these are a spicy rice cracker. I did not expect that when I put this in and that kicked me right in the face. Spice, but good. It's not so much that I'm in love with the rice cracker, but that fiery flavor, oh my God. Spicy, that's a good one. Spicy meatball. Woo! Woo! Those ones, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give an eight. I love the flavor of those. Those are really, really, really good. I'm fucking cool. <laughs> okay. Um, we only got a couple things left here. Up is the Marui Chinsuko Pineapple. Crumbly and crunchy. This Chinsuko cookie is flavored with another Okinawa specialty, pineapple. A sweet tropical flavor with a, just a hint of tartness. Nice little, smells like pineapple. That's good. Very, 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 very strong pineapple flavor. I'm a little thrown off by the texture. I thought it was gonna be a soft cookie. Definitely a more crunchy. Did it, it even said crunchy, didn't it? Crumbly and crunchy. I just wasn't paying attention. I feel like that's really good, but shouldn't have been thrown after the spice. Like that took away from a little bit of the flavor of this. Um, I still have the pepper in my mouth. From what I can tell, that was really good. Um, and I don't know how fair it is, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that a seven. I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm liking these pineapple snacks today. These are good. All right, we're down to the last snack, but first, try some of this tea. This is San San Pincha, San Pincha tea. Let's try it. Hopefully, it's not too hot for me. Oh wow! So this has nothing in it. I usually add honey to my tea. But this tea alone, just as it is, very unique taste to it. It's very unique flavor. Might actually be one of my favorite teas I've ever had already after, after one sip. Wow, that's hella good. A blend of jasmine flowers and steamed green tea. Wow. Chinese and Japanese influence on the prefecture. Damn, that's so good. I would actually be like very curious to see how this would taste with some honey in it. So with a little bit of honey added to this, let's see. I'm gonna give that Boku Wahai 10. I'm a really big fan of this tea. Like a really big fan. This is so good. Anpin Cha, Anpin Cha. Jasmine flowers and green tea, we know are a beautiful pairing together. And finally, last but not least, the Ichikoro chocolate puff sand cake. An airy white chocolate cream sandwich between two bitter chocolate Shinsuko shortbread cookies. This is like the Japanese Oreo cookie. So the chocolatey outside with a creamy center. Hmm. Okay, my first thoughts, the chocolate outer side reminds me of like the edge brownie, you know? Actually that cream is really good too. I feel like the outer bit, the inner bit, are individually so good and I like them so much, but I almost like them separate from each other. I don't feel like they belong together. I feel like they're trying to make it work, even though they both know they just don't belong. But that, I'm gonna put it as a nine. I really, really, really enjoy that. Um, there's something about that chocolate outer bit that I like a lot. Um, that is gonna go as a number nine. Thank you all for joining me on yet another trip to Japan with Foxu. Um, I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing this channel and to me. Thank you to Cookie for another Boxu uh, subscription this month. If you guys are enjoying this content and you want more of it, please make sure that you check out the Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Boku uh, which is going to get you guys a bunch of rewards and content. Plus, your names are going to go at the end of this video for being an active member of our Patreon. Um, don't forget that this and subscribing, liking, 
and turning on the notifications here on YouTube are going to help me continue doing this, keeping this channel running and keeping me doing this content that you guys are hopefully loving and enjoying. So again, please don't forget to check out patreon.com forward slash book while hide. Thank you guys for another trip and we will see you on the next episode.